My name is Lecturer Kilaji, Bishop Kenya, Michael Otome, uh, speaking in Kenya Republic this morning in uh, Nairobi National Government, that is Mbakazi, East Constituency, Mbakazi Village Ward. And I want to speak the Word of God uh, from the book of uh, 1 Samuel, chapter 13, verses uh, 1. And also randomly, we are also to read uh, chapter, the same chapter, verses 13 and 14. And uh, we are going to see the topic of uh, the word uh, rebook. Rebook. We are told as uh, Prophet Samuel rebook one time the king of uh, Israel called Saul. A man of God rebooked the king. All right, and uh, he told him like this. In First Samuel chapter 13, verse 1, it read, Saul was 30 years old, that is King Saul, was 30 years old when he became king of Israel, and he reigned over Israel 40 years, 42 years. I said King Saul was 30 years old when he became king, and he reigned or ruled over Israel 42 years. Uh, verse 13 now in that case, and uh, 14, it is that uh, you have acted uh, in opening and closing in the comma. That is now the word from the prophet of God uh, telling the king of Israel, Saul. You acted foolishly, Saul said. You have not kept the command the Lord God gave you. If you had, you could have established your kingdom of Israel for all the time. But now your kingdom will not endure. The Lord has sought out a man after his own heart and have appointed his him, leader of his people, because you have not kept the Lord's commandments. Now God uh, to spoke to the prophet of Israel, prophet Samuel, to rebook the king called Saul because he stated that he acted foolishly. Okay? He did not keep the commandment of God uh, properly. And God now uh, have actually chosen another person or appointed another person called uh, David to take over from him in that case. So uh, we are told here uh, in that case then, in brief, if we are to summarize what we have read, leadership sometimes can influence other human beings' thoughts, actions, and feelings because now after the, the king was told like that, and the people also heard that the, that influence has caused a lot of a uh, you know a kind of a uh, uh, you know an uproar, or in that case for people to think and also to take actions, and also in their feelings they knew what uh, God has uh, has already spoken, that the king now will no longer be there, another person will now take actually leadership in that case. So leadership in that case also we can say it is always always causing a lot and often it lead also to some other changes in in kind of a leadership in that case and it cost a lot actually at times because uh, we have seen now uh, another change has come into Israel that time uh, to have another person instead it is now what we are seeing now because of uh, we as I said uh, leadership can also influence other human people's thoughts and also actions and feelings. <clears throat> That's why we are having now a lot of coups in the Africa continents like Guinea, Niger, Sudan, Somalia at times, Uganda at times, Ethiopia and so forth and so forth, because leadership normally influences people's uh, thoughts, actions and feelings. If they are not actually helped properly, uh, they will now use their thoughts and actions and feelings to cause some kind of chaos, like what we also we are seeing in Kenya. People have become now rebellious to an extent of uh, some county governments and tribes, like Luos and others, uh, others also many others, and many counties want to be separatists because they are, they are, you know, their thoughts and actions and feelings is being influenced by bad leadership uh, to react or to become rebellious to the government of uh, our president now, William Samuel Ruto. So uh, we need to know that actually leaders are supposed to be servants, servant uh, human beings, but not bosses in that case, because people can, uh, you know, can sometimes react and uh, topple them in that case. 
what we are seeing now in this kind of a text, eh, which we have read, eh, uh, we it is very clear that uh, God sometimes eh, can empower righteous people to be uh, uh, taking, you know, uh, powers in some sort, eh? like what now uh, he has done actually to uh, to topple King uh, Saul in order to pave way for David to rule those human beings. Why? Simply because uh, David was having a kind of a servanthood heart. Like Jesus Christ also, if you read Luke 20, 22, he stated clearly that uh, his interest was uh, uh, his also was uh, not above other human beings in service. And Christ also mission in that case statement, which if you read actually Luke 22, verse 27, uh, he came to heaven to serve human beings, and especially needy people spiritually and physically. That's why he used to feed them when they, they came to him with the anger as well as also spiritual anger and physical anger. He used to feed them actually, at times even 4,000, at times 5,000. So in that case, Christ also uh, came to save human beings and as well as to serve them, but not as a boss. If you continue reading also, uh, you can see in John 13, verse uh, 13 and 14 and 15, other times also Christ demonstrated a kind of a humility, a kind of servanthood heart by washing his disciples, you know, feet eh? in John chapter 13, verse 14 and uh, uh, 14, 13 and 14 in that case. That is chapter 13, uh, okay, verses, uh, for, verses 14 and uh, 15. It read like this because I don't want to add the Bible or subtract the word of God in Deuteronomy 4.2. I want to speak what God speaks. In that case then, we are told in John chapter 13, uh, chapter 13, uh, verse 14, it read like this. Now that I, uh, it read like this. Now that I, your Lord and teacher, have washed your feet, you, you also should watch one another feet eh? and 15 have set an example that you should do as i have done for you you know uh, we are told in that case uh, it, it was actually necessary for jesus to demonstrate his kind of servanthood heart especially even in, in verse 8 it also read no because peter objected that jesus when he wanted to you know to wash his feet at first i told uh, jesus i, I it's not uh, advisable for jesus to wash his feet because that's a minor job for lesser human beings. But Christ insisted that that is was a fitting kind of a role of a servant, like a Messiah, to do so in verse 8. And that's why in verse 8, Peter said in opening and closing uh, commas, uh, No, said Peter, you should never wash my feet. Jesus answered, Unless I wash your feet, you have no part with me. That means uh, Peter was actually Kimbelembele. He was a man who was talkative and he's so proud sometimes. And uh, he thought actually a uh, kind of a caliber leadership of Jesus Christ as a Messiah was not supposed to watch, uh, you know, uh, his faith. It was lowering his dignity, but it was not so. Jesus demonstrated that he told him, no, he came to serve, but not to be served, eh? in that case, as a leader. So should we watch each other feet in that case? In chapter, what we have read now, John 13, uh, verses 14 and 15. Yes, by humility kind of a form, there are churches which also practice that kind of a, you know, ratio of that time to wash others, uh, each other's feet uh, in order to eat sacraments like the Lord's table. But uh, it, is, uh, it is not necessary now as a, as a priest of Kenya Republic now. It is just, it was just an example of humility, a servanthood heart that Jesus wanted to show uh, one another, uh, his disciples to show other human beings, a kind of a humility. But nowadays, because of HIV diseases, which are incurable, and if you, because I've also taken training of HIV as a trainer of trainees, eh? I can train human beings as a priest. Eh? Uh, it is not advisable to wash uh, others nowadays' feet, eh? simply because uh, we need just to show by our hearts a kind of humility to help human beings spiritually and physically, but not to wash feet because sometimes you can, you know, come uh, across somebody who is actually having HIV and AIDS and you wash his feet. And probably even your hands might have some kind of zoles, then you will contract the disease. Eh? 
So that time, remember, of Jesus Christ, uh, these uh, incurable diseases are not there, but nowadays they are there. So we need to be careful also, because the Bible, uh, uh, he also speak in different cultures and different kind of, uh, you know, scenario of periodic times. So that's why we are told uh, uh, Samuel uh, delivered this message to King Saul that he has acted foolishly in First Samuel chapter 13, verse 14. Uh, verse 13 and 14 uh, that's first Samuel chapter 13 verses 13 and 14 because uh, Samuel told uh, prophet Samuel delivered this message to King Saul of Israel that uh, at that time that he acted foolishly by not keeping God's commandments and uh, because of that uh, if God had could have established his kingdom if he could have obeyed God but he didn't so his kingdom now did not last in that case and God has sought a man of his own heart, and that was, he appointed actually, David to rule Israel at that time. So what do I want to tell Kenyans today? Uh, uh, we need actually a kind of a government uh, who is caring for human beings, particularly a leader who can serve us, uh, like uh, what the examples have said. Uh, if our president, uh, William Samuel, uh, want his kingdom to establish his kingdom to to be dura to you know to be durable in a time for some time although now it is doubt I'm doubting whether it will go far he should avoid what we call tribalisms in that case you know not to act uh, in such kind of a form which the Bible says do not act foolishly in your leadership as the way prophet uh, Samuel told the king of Israel that time which was actually removed from uh, office executives of the uh, kingship by God himself, I need our president to avoid what you call tribalism in his leadership that normally occur when uh, some uh, communities living in the same country are uh, not given, uh, you know, distribution of resources equally, but uh, an uh, uneven distribution of, uh, you know, sharing of resources can sometimes cause problems. So the president no need to have a, a kind of a equitable kind of distribution of resources to countrywide, all 47 county government, 290 consensus and 1,450 words assembly equally uh, among all 49 tribes of Kenya. You need also to avoid what you call nepotism, a practice that is carried out by most political class leaders nowadays in this government of our president Ruto, who are favoring their own uh, relatives and, uh, you know, tribes human beings like Kalenjin and Kikuyus now because the deputy president is also a Kikuyu and the president is a Kalenjin. So in job opportunities and leaving other Kenyan children, uh, you know, uh, uh, not actually uh, a, in that kind of a format of uh, equal sharing of resources. So that kind of a move, uh, we call it uh, nepotism, need to be educated in Kenya uh, to have a, a kind of a equality in Kenya distribution of resources. So the president need to avoid what is called nepotism. Also, you need to avoid what you call religious differences because we have now a lot of... Uh, differences in the churches uh there are so many untrained priests in kenya which are also fighting trained priests by establishing some kind of a uh, you know false gods uh, kind of uh, churches mushrooming small ministry churches with uh, so many untrained uh, priests which are killing human beings spiritually and physically like chakahola kilevi pasandenge uh, mackenzie paul of uh, kamba tribe so we need also to avoid that because uh, it is wrong and we need to test every spirit in first john 3 4 and also racism the practice of uh, that occur when one more race or uh, is favored more than others is not also not allowed eh? our president now should be to be you know having uh, some kind of uh, that kind of racism in his government he's allowing other nations to come to kenya and others are not to be welcomed properly so, and even uh, economic development that is uh, occur also in uh, national government needed to be equally distributed, eh? uh, okay, uh, equally, uh, even, uh, even kind of uh, distribution of resources, as I said, in 447 county government, or federal state, 290 constituencies, and 1,450 words assemblies, the president need to do that, eh? and to digitize all tribes, so that uh, we will uh, have actually every tribe uh, being in the government, and also in parasitos bodies, yeah? And also the president need to see that the right of life of each person living in Kenya uh, need to be protected. Eh? Nobody, even the state, has a right to deny anyone uh, a right of living, which in this government now we have lost so many people in mass action because of the, the government is not uh, helping people and people are now rebe becoming rebellious 
and some of them want to be separatists uh, like Luos, they want to have their own separate country and many other nations uh, many other county governments also not only Homo Bay, Kisumu or Migori and Siaya but even in Samburu County government and Kajado and Naro County government the Poko, Turkana, Marsabet among others uh, they want to be separatists, Pokot and Turkanas and all those kind of stuff and Samburu County government as well. And many others because the government is not show, is showing a kind of a nepotism uh, and also what I've mentioned, the tribalism and favorism in, the, in their leadership. Eh? So, and the right of uh, human beings is not so protected. Eh? So the right of to own property is not also there. Many county government now are not accessible like Upper Eastern, Mandera, Wajia, Gariza, uh, Kiambu, Meru and the others. Eh? Uh, all this uh, central province of Kenya with the uh, 11 county government of Kikoyos and also Meru's two governments uh, which is uh, Drakaniti and Meru is not accessible to other tribes and, and 11 and 9 Kikoyos uh, federal states county government they are not accessible to other tribes no, no, no businesses for other tribes there neither employed in their own uh, parliaments small parliament uh, like Kiambu, Ferroze, Muranga you call them Nyeri county government there are no other tribes it's only kikuyus and mirus uh, there about and somalis uh, wajia gariza and uh, mandera there's only uh, that tribe uh, uh somalis so and pokot likewise uh, and uh, and uh, pokot also they don't uh, welcome other human beings uh, and turkanas also but saburus you do uh, welcome people and other also county government like masai uh, narok and kajan but the others which are, you cannot own properties if you are not from their tribe eh? is not good. So that one need to be put straight eh? that uh, we have the right of property owning every part of the country for seven county government, 290 consciences and 1,450 words assemblies. Otherwise not fair for all the other tribes also to leave theirs, their own county government and they don't allow others to go and uh, take their resources there. And the freedom of movement also and the freedom of uh, you know expression and the freedom of right of worship except now that mushrooming churches uh, is not allowed uh, is not supposed to be allowed eh? and the right of association also the president of Zaba to allow human beings uh, you know to uh, to practice that eh? and also free medical care for those who cannot care able to afford and free medical you know education uh, free education also for those who cannot afford and also land and housing for those who cannot afford to be provided by the government and food costs also need to be highly reduced all right because now kenya is a well producing country in uh, turkana and water and clean drinking water need to be provided with the kenyans and also sanitation uh, a clean environment with a reasonable standard of sanitation and the clean environment the countrywide need to be done in this government which is not doing actually so what we want to say finally, uh, I just want to tell uh, people uh, of Kenya to support our president, our Supreme Power President, Raila Omolo Dinga, who is commanding now three quarter of 50 Kenyans, uh, who as uh, their leader, uh, uh, more than the president, uh, our president uh, who is now commanding only a quarter of uh, Kenyans. Uh, although he owns both the houses of parliament, the, the upper house and senate and also national parliament because he has bought all the politicians, most of them, the recorder, but the people now, the recorder, don't want also the president in that case. So I don't want uh, president to be blinded by natural human instinct, all right? Neither a kind of, a, not to let the pride get his way to see that Raila Molo Dinga and the people cannot, uh, you know, uh, make him to step down. He, is, he should know that if you will not do what I've said, eh? so that I will not repeat, he will be, you know, troubled eh? or overthrown like any other nations nowadays, like Niger and South Sudan, no, not South Sudan, but Sudan, and other countries also, Niger and so forth, eh? and uh, Guinea, Conquer, and uh, others also. You should also understand that is, uh, you should not also understand his enemies, he did not, uh, he need not to underestimate uh, is the opposition now, which uh, actually we don't call them enemies, but the opposition. You need not to uh, underestimate that uh, uh, Supreme Power President, the Raila Molo Dinka, cannot actually uh, make him to step down. He can do it actually. If the ongoing mediation cannot, uh, you know, bear fruit, he will, uh, the President uh, will be actually, will not uh, be there. He will be troubled or overthrown to go home. Eh? 
Is that like William Samarito? I assure him that. So he was not also, he need also to be not to be overconfident of himself to make mistakes. That he is the only absolute uh, power authority, autocracy kind of a leader that nobody is untouchable. No. Also, the president need actually to have a clean record kind of effectiveness in his leadership. Yeah? Okay, those people are God-fearing people. We need good leadership that take time, take uh, time to think also, and take time to plan, and take time to do things. All right? That's the kind of a leadership we want this president to practice uh, when he will be now in the office. Uh, like uh, God chosen uh, king of Israel called David, a man after his own heart. Uh, Actually, it was a man who was happy, who shows confidence as a leader because he knew he had a great God who could help him and he won many battles because he did not trust in his own strength but trusted in God. Eh? If you read also uh, uh, Psalms 121, you will see that uh, he knew that his help come from God. So we need uh, the president to have a clean record kind of leaders who have a, uh, also effective, uh, effectiveness and the efficient in leadership uh, kind of uh, uh, performance. Uh, and he, he also need to be approachable. His leadership should be uh, approachable because this leadership now of our president, the leaders are not approachable. You will not get them in offices. Uh, they are just enjoying at their homes and also, you know, in, uh, uh, you know, in places of uh, luxurious places like lodges and things of that nature. They are not uh, approachable leaders. Neither participate, uh, they don't practice participatory kind of leadership and they're not devoted leaders at all all right okay and uh, they are not actually excellent in their you know performance eh? so the leader need to reflect god character in uh, his nature in that case eh? uh, to see also the fruit of the spirit uh, is, is to be lettered in galatians chapter 5 verse 22 uh, to 23 about love about unity of purpose and uh, you know things of that nature I would also share uh, uh, you know, resources with the poor and needy people. And this uh, leadership now of President Ruto are not uh, doing that. A leader also need to put up with uh, no nonsense or sluggishness in his assigned responsibilities. Uh, they should be effective and efficient leaders. Uh, who also people who can be uh, counted uh, to have a kind of integrity in their leadership. Uh, and they are not tired to lead, uh, to, uh, you know, to perform their duties. Okay? as mandated by uh, by the Kenyans, uh, human beings. Eh? And they need also to be teachable human beings and to teach others also in a good way. Because a leader must know the way, must show the way, and must also go the way. In John uh, 14, verse 6, eh? like Jesus uh, Christ uh, example, or God in that case, eh? if, we are, if a leader does not know uh, the way, he cannot also go the way, and he cannot show the people the way. So we need the human being who know the right way to lead us, actually, in this leadership of our president. And a leader who also help others, uh, not only uh, people of his own, uh, you know, uh, tribes or things of that nature or this uh, denomination, is not good. Otherwise, may God bless you, human being living in Kenya. And uh, I just want to uh, I remind our Supreme Power President, His Excellency uh, Raila Molodinga, to resume a protest uh, very soon if uh, you know the mediation ca cannot actually bear any fruit. I repeat it again once again because we need him to take uh, the country forward for the remaining 48 months now which is four years now remaining. One year is gone with nothingness, nothing had happened and a leader, we need a leader which is uh, able to help us uh, who can influence people's thoughts and feelings and actions by doing what is good. Eh? That's, what, that's my word. Eh? Um, Bishop Kenya Michael Oltome, I repeat it again, uh, lecturer clergy, I've taught so many colleges, uh, paramilitary general service unit here at Utawala Nairobi National Government for 12 years, an equivalent force to Kenya Army and uh, battle kind of capabilities, spiritual and physical, as a civilian spiritual affairs instructor uh, for 12 years, 2004 to 2016, and I'm speaking the house which was built now by British government uh, as mine now. 1956 eh? Queen Elizabeth built these houses uh, this one I'm living and I've renovated it's mine now in Mbakazi village and many others we thank the gov I thank also the government of British eh? and let them keep on helping us Kenyan which are helpless now since they left us eh? 1920 
Otherwise, uh, I remember uh, uh, that uh, that government, uh, if, uh, we are told by our parents that they have been a very nice government. And I also remember when I was uh, a small boy, 1971, I used to buy mandazi uh, with one shilling, ten of them, this white flour kind of uh, mandazi. Eh? So, and we used to buy even sugar with the two and fifty shillings at uh, that time, which is nearly actually the transitional of white uh, roller that time. It was just some few uh, man, years eh, after they left uh, the white people. And uh, I don't know now what happened. Uh, I know, probably, because of corruption, probably, most likely. The government now is, the blacks have taken us back uh, since they took over the rule in 1963 up to today, 20, uh, 2023. I've also thought to uh, actually uh, Africa Inland Church be set by a call in our county government pastors who are now priests, like uh, pastors, you call them rever reverends, bishops, uh, and things like that, because they have been taking four years di uh, di uh, diploma training. And I also taught Cooperant College of Mission International, uh, another county government, a school of missions, which used to teach both religions, that is uh, Quran, all right? Because I'm also expert in Quran, I've learned in Quran uh, in, at the Columbia International University. Okay, and uh, equally, I used to teach both uh, uh, books, and uh, both books are sacred books at the Columbia International University, Ramona, California. So I've also taught that uh, Covenant College uh, of uh, Mission at the North Com County Government. The students were taking four years uh, training in theology, both Islamic and Christianity. And uh, I'm also a trainee of Kapsa Baba College, accredited college of Kenya, prestigious one for four years and I took also degree at the uh, in the Vision International University Ramona California which was here in Kenya uh, uh, Limuru campus affiliate campus and I also took uh, that Columbia International University uh, distance learners also uh, training for indep uh, in the independent or independent learning uh, Columbia International University Islamic studies because uh, all the prophet including prophet Muhammad uh, is a man of, is a prophet of God, like uh, Samuel. Now we have read the uh, peace be upon Prophet Muhammad and also Prophet uh, Samuel. Wherever they are now, because I know now they are with God, eh? uh, they will be also there in heaven forever, obviously, for what they have done. Eh? Uh, so uh, remember to pray for me. Uh, I'm also a political preacher. I was supposed to be in ballot paper 2022 together with my president and the Republican Party uh, of Kenya Republic. Uh, we call it independent, team independent. Uh, His Excellency uh, Gugubo, uh, Jeremiah Gugubo from Bungoma, and uh, he was born from Bungoma. He was a retired, uh, uh, you know, uh, Kenya military or Kenya Defense Forces. He was a brigadier, and a brigadier is actually someone who is uh, in charge of battalion and, uh, you know, uh, brigades eh? or brigades and battalions. So we are supposed to, we, uh, we could have been uh, in the ballot paper but after being cleared by a uh, registered political parties and territory and also an independent electoral bond commission chairman, um, uh, Mr. also uh, Honorable, both of them in the two, uh, as uh, and also Honorable Chepkati of IBC, Independent Electoral Bond Commission and registered political parties and territory. But uh, our president told us actually after we are cleared to be on ballot paper 2022 last year election uh, to give this uh, people who are fighting now, uh, His Excellency President Ruto and also Excellency Raila uh, uh, and the two weak ones to try to be uh, in ballot huh? uh, so that they will not, uh, they will not, we will, we will have actually 50 plus one. And uh, because my president was a very challenging kind of a presidential aspirant, if we could have, uh, we could have been in paper. In ballot paper, we could have become the president and if the president as I speak now, most likely, because he was nearly to uh, to win uh, 2007 elections uh, during uh, pre retired president, the, the late uh, president came back at time. So uh, the, the others now feared us seriously. So we look forward to uh, 2027 when Raila Molodinka will be leaving office or not, because now this government is not going anywhere. I'm sure Raila Molodinka will be president before 2027, most likely, the way I'm saying it, as a prophet eh, of Kenya Republic and also a politician in a way. Because I've been also in politics 1992. Uh, I, used, I was actually uh, for the Kenya chief campaigner of Marsabit County, Mukunduya, Kenya, near the border of Kenya and Ethiopia, in that uh, multi partisan elections. Uh, when uh, we even told Moi we will not uh, we need uh, we don't need need a unitary government and we scrapped up 
Klaus II air that time I was also for the Kenya uh, Jaramogi Odinga uh, the late uh, the father vice president of Kenya first vice president the father of our uh, pre our our chief opposition leader now is excellent Raila Molo Odinga father I was actually his chief campaigner in Marshall County government and also for the Kenya secretary general one of the biggest county in Ma in Kenya all right, that time. So I'm not actually short of knowing what is good in politics and in the word of God and also in administration, uh, as well also in uh, you know in uh, security matters. I've taught paramilitary general service unit and official force equivalent to Kenya Army for 12 years, as I said it. Eh? Yeah, all right, an equivalent force to Kenya Defense Forces in all capabilities of warfare, spiritual and physical. Otherwise, may God bless you, all human beings living in Kenya. And uh, I just want to remind Kenya to be calm and to pray without ceasing. I let support Raila Moradinka bid to become our president, the sixth president. Very so, if uh, this uh, mediation flopped, all right, it was today in newspaper that he want to resume again protests. If uh, the mediation will not actually uh, give him what he wants uh, for the sharing of resources, that is what we all, we all want for all for seven. 49 tribes and 290, 290 constituencies, 1,050 world samplers, and 47 county government or federal states. If we are not given equal sharing of power and equal sharing of resources, and digital, if uh, all tribes are not digitized to be in government and uh, to be uh, employed equally in parastatos and in public service, then uh, the president need to go home. All right? Uh, Ruto need to go home uh, as quickly as possible before now he's going to be not to be emulated eh? to be forced out eh? by force because i'm also behind raila Morodinga move eh? uh, to make the president to step down all right all right to make him to step down because through civil disobedience we don't want a, a ruler who cannot actually cut off our spiritual and physical and economic